Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. There is no place I'd rather be but in the house of the Lord. For we are Refuge Temple Ministries, and we are a fellowship of love. And we're located at 105 Joseph and Laurie Boulevard, Atlanta, Georgia, 30314. And we're under the direction of Dr. Mr. Elijah Solomon, who is our senior pastor, Elder Tyrone Sherman, who is our associate pastor, and also Elder Thomas Ponder, who is the assistant pastor. For we come to worship and praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For we invite you each and every Sunday morning for our Facebook Live 10 a.m. service, and we also welcome you into our sanctuary where we are worshiping and lifting up our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we are practicing CDC safety codes and we are masked. You see us up here, we're not masked, but when we go into the sanctuary, we are masked and we are practicing the codes that we are supposed to do. And we also invite you on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. for our Wednesday night Bible study where we are worshiping and serving our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and learning of him, but we must learn from him so we may live for him. And also, we would like to invite you in February, for we are we are recognizing our Black History Month, but we are recognizing our church history. For it, it takes something to still be a part of the kingdom of God. And we want to ask that, that you will come and worship and serve, and serve our Lord and Jesus Christ with us in Jesus' name. For his anger endured but a moment. Yes, Lord. 
in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes joy. May the Lord have a blessing to read his hearers and doers of his word. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody bless his name today. Yes, Lord. All the praise and the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Lord. You deserve it. Hallelujah.
at 35. John 13. Verse 34 and 35. If you have it, why don't you just flip on your iPhone, your iPad, your computer, whatever, your Bible, if you still have one. Amen. In the name of Jesus, uh -huh. the Gospel of John. Chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Yes. Christ said a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Verse 34 says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another. Now I want you to notice how this pericope that Christ was talking to his disciples about, he repeats himself more than once. He says, I'm giving you a new command. Oh, we knew the commandments of the law, the ten. We know all of the commandments and do this and don't do that. But he says there's one that you need to know for sure. Yes. It's a new one. That one says, I want you to love one another. Yes. And when you do this, he says, everybody will know you are following Christ. I want to speak from a subject today, not just particular dug out of this verse of scripture, but since it deals with love, I want to ask you a question. Do you love the Lord? Amen. A lot of us say, yes, I do. But the question is, do we really love the Lord? Are you committed to him body, soul, and spirit? Uh -huh. Do you believe that all the glory belongs yeah. to God? Amen. All the praise oh, belongs to God. God. He says, I'm going to tell you how to love. Yes. He asked us to love. Then he said, let me just tell you how to love. I want you to love like I love you. All right. mm -hmm. When we have a spouse, we want our spouse to reciprocate in the love that we show them. We don't want to have a one-sided love. God wants a relationship Amen. with his people. God wants us to embrace him and hold him tight within our mind, within our body, within our spirit, within our soul. Where do you love the Lord? If you love me, he says, how will I know? How does God know we love him? He said, let me make this thing very clear. You love me if you keep my commandments. You love me if you obey my word. You love me if you walk worthy of the calling which I have called you to do. You love me when you serve to help build up the kingdom of God. If we are not doing those things, obeying those commands, we are serving God with lip service. Let me just go to another passage of scripture in the Gospel of John, chapter 14. I'm just going to skip down to the next verse. Next chapter. Verse number 12, he says, He that believeth on me, on. the works that I do, right. shall ye do also, mm -hmm. and greater works right. shall we do. How many people are doing greater right. works than Christ did? Right. But what did Christ do? He walked all over Jerusalem and Judea, Telling them that the kingdom of God is at home. Hey, right. Are we telling people, get right with God, love the Lord, and you shall do mighty works. Amen. Churches need to love God. Yes. Churches have gotten to the point, sometimes we become social institutions. We're trying to network with those that can help us out. Yes. But what God says, uh, give me the service first. Yes. What he says is lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. We need to say, Lord, every day I love you and I'm going to walk worthy of the command to love you. Greater works shall you do. Verse number 15 of John 14 says, if you love me, once again, he says, keep what? My commandments. Y'all say that with me, type it in. If you love the Lord, yes. keep his 
his commandments. How do we know his commandments? It's not what Dr. Phil says. It's not what Oprah says. It's not what the legislators or the representatives say. It's what the word of God says. If we love him, we will obey him. You know, just in case some people don't know what commandment means, obey, it means if we love him, keep his word and obey him. You know, we've gotten to be a society now where we don't want to obey anybody. Uh huh. In the age of enlightenment, they said, you know, it's all about me and what I think and how I believe it ought to go. But if you love not going to jail, you will obey the law. Yes. Yes. And even Jesus. then, sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. And we get away with it. Mm -hmm. Every time I run a stop sign, run a red light, by accident. <laughs> by accident. <laughs> the first thing I do is look back in my mirror to see if there's a policeman somewhere around. Well, when I disobey God, I look into the Word to see if God is looking. Then I read it says he sits high, looks low. And he's riding all the time. If you love the Lord, you need to obey his Word. Let me move on down to chapter number 15 in the Gospel of John. He says, verse 10, if you keep what? My commandments, you shall abide in my love. If we obey him, we stay in the love of God. How many people want God to love them? I, I, I know I want him to love me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, from the extremities of the right to the extremities on the left, I want God to embrace me yes, and yes, hold yes, me yes, and yes, tell yes, me I am his child. Yes, yes, yes. But if I want that, then I've got to let him know that I love him. Yes, yes. Do you love the Lord? Yes, yes. There's no question in my mind that God loves us. How do I know that? Because the Bible says, God so loved the world. He was talking about us. That he gave his only begotten son. How many of us are willing to sacrifice for somebody else? How many are willing to go out of their way to let people know I will encourage you and I will support and help you out? Why? Because I love you. But I love God first. If you don't love God, you're going to have trouble loving people. Amen. Let me say that again. Why are there so many games? Because they have lost the relationship with God. Amen. After we lose a relationship with God, we have a tendency to lose relationship with family. My God. My and God. once you get to the point you don't care anything about yourself, uh -huh. you don't care anything about anybody else's life. Amen. That's why they're tried by shooting. That's why people ride down the expressway and point a thorn at somebody else is because they don't love God. They might go to church. They might wear a collar, turn around backwards and stand in pulpits. But do they love God? We all need to ask ourselves that question. John 15 verse number 12. It's amazing how this gets repeated again. He says, this is my, what, commandment, Amen. that you love one another. Amen. And here is how you love them, the way that I love you. All right. All right. How many people in here used to be a sinner? Amen. Now, if you don't raise your hand, you don't know the word. Amen. Because we were born and shaped in yeah. here. Amen. We came into this world with a sinful soul. But God loved us so much. Yes. You're not just sitting in sanctuaries because you don't have anywhere else to go unless you're just trying to stay warm during the morning when the church is open. But if you love the Lord, you will say, I'm glad. When they yes. Yes. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. Another commandment says, love each other. 
Church, we got to get back to the time where people of God looked out for people of God. That's right. We didn't talk about them. We didn't beat them up. We just encouraged them. Amen. You don't have to give people money or food to let them know that you care. That's right. You just got to let them know I'm praying for you. If, they, if there's anything I can do, just ask me if it's possible, I will. I'm not giving you all my money and lose my house. That's right. I know that don't sound right, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> all right, now. Because if I have to do that, it won't be long. You're going to lose that. That's right. My Lord. So God gave us good sense. That's right. Help folks, but don't hurt yourself. <laughs> do you love the Lord? Yes, yes. Let me just go down a little bit further. How do we show God we love him? Well, let's ask John in chapter 21, verse number 16. Simon, son of Jonah, he was saying to him, do you love me? He answered the question, yes, Lord. Jesus looked at him again and said, do you love me? Yes, Lord. That's amazing. God has to ask us more than once, do we love him? I believe he's speaking to a lot of our minds and hearts right now Amen. saying, do you love me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. And then Christ asked him one more time, do you love me? All right. All right. He got a little smarter this time and says, Lord, you know that I love you. So Christ answered him says, if you love me, Feed my sheep. Yeah. How many of us today can say we love God, but we're not feeding any sheep? We're not teaching anybody how to live holy and how to live. I'm not talking about what we talk about. I'm talking about they can see our walk, hear our conversation, and know that they can follow me as I follow Christ. If you love me, feed my sheep. Today we call that discipleship. Yes, yes. Today we call that teaching one another. How many are teaching their children at a young age yes. to love the Lord? Yes. Thank you, we teach them to go to school. We teach them to play sports. We teach them to get involved in all kinds of stuff. But we don't teach them to love the Lord first. My he God. says, seek ye first the kingdom. Hallelujah. And all of this other stuff will be added unto you. Just in case you think John is the only one that talked about love, let me go back to the book of law. In the book of Exodus, the Bible says, God spoke and says, I am the Lord thy God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt. I brought you out of the house of bondage. Some of us need to say it was God that brought me out of sin. It was God that picked me up. It was God that took me out of the muck and mire. It was God that redeemed my soul. That was our bondage. Then he says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Stop worshiping stuff and start worshiping God. Do you love the Lord? I said, do you love the Lord? He said, I am a jealous God. Anybody been in a relationship with somebody that's jealous? You can't do anything right. They, they got trackers on you. Where you go? Who you been talking to? Why are you spending so much time in her face? Why is he always coming to you first? You supposed to be my wife. My girlfriend. I don't like you spending all that time around him. Why? Because that's some jealousy. We want those that we know in relationship with us to make us number one. God said, I am a jealous God. And I shall have no other God before me. You shall not bow down to them. You shall not serve them. Why? Because put me first. And when you put me first, oh, you. you can have all of these blessings in the name of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In Exodus 20, verse number 6, he says, I will show mercy unto thousands of them. How 
many people know I'm part of a thousand? Where? And who does he show mercy to? I shall show mercy to thousands of them that love me. And he caps it off by saying, and keeps my what? My commandments. I will show mercy to thousands of them that love me. You can write this down, Exodus 20, verse number 6. I, God, will have mercy on you if you love me and keep my commandments. I want you to notice that little word, letter he put in there, if. That's a simple two-letter word, if. means maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. You will obey what I have ordained and given you a covenant to do. Now, down through five generations, five dispensations, God has always given commandments. Yes. And through the first five, from law to innocence to conscience to self-government, all of those, they disobeyed God. Yes, they did. Even though God loves us, he will reprimand us. Uh -oh. Yes, he will. Any parent that loves their child will reprimand them. Yes, they will. They used Amen. to reprimand them so that it meant something. My God. Now we reprimand them with time out. Go to your room. They got more electronic gadgets in their room than you got in your living room. <laughs> Sending them to their room with their phone is not reprimanding. My God. That's just saying, go enjoy yourself. My God. God doesn't work like that. When God reprimands us, we know we've been punished. But the good news is, no matter how much he reprimands us, Isaiah says he stands with outstretched arms. He loves me so much. He won't leave me in Egypt in bondage. He loves me so much. Joseph can tell you, he won't leave me in a prison. He loves me so much, he won't leave me in the prison. I will bless you. And everybody will know you are blessed. God can restore a people. God can restore a church that doesn't love him. Just as he did with the dry bones. In Ezekiel, somebody said, can these bones live again? Somebody wants to know, can churches live in the 21st century? Can they continue to exist through pandemics? Yeah. Can they exist? God knew this was coming. That's yeah. why we have all of this social media today. Yeah. That's why we can reach more people now than ever. Amen. Yeah. 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 Can these bones live again? Mm. Prophet says, you know, Lord. Mm. How many today can say, do I love the Lord? Tell them, you know, Lord. Just as we Simon would say, you know, Lord, yes. God knows if you love him or not. Where? God yes. knows if we're giving him lip service or not. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't yes. love him, the thing you need to do right now is do what David said in Psalms 51, verse number 10. Create in me yes. a clean heart. Yes. Mm, that's one thing. Create means from nothing. But I love the second half of this verse. He says, oh God, renew a right spirit in me. That means I had a right spirit. But somehow my love for God has waned that. And it's not the same as it was when you first saved me. But Lord, renew, bring back to me. The right spirit. The right spirit says, I will show you that I love you. Just like you love me. If you love God, praise him. That's why I like the song that our birthday boy sang this morning. That's just a little side part to say happy birthday. If you love him, praise him. Tell him all the glory belongs to you. All the praise belongs to you. The injuries on my 
my job belongs to you. That spouse you gave me belongs to you. All the glory, all the praise belongs to you. My praise belongs to you in Psalms 150, belongs to you in the sanctuary. Uh huh. It tells us to praise him in the sanctuary. It tells us to praise him because of his mighty acts. Praise him with the sound of the cymbal. And, the, and he tells us to praise him with the tambourine and the harp. He says, Let everything. I might not sing like her. I might not testify like him. But the Bible says, If you can breathe. Let everything be happy. Let everything be happy. Let everything be happy. If you're breathing, it says if you got breath, praise the Lord. Then he repeats it, praise ye the Lord. How many people know that I can praise him? Amen. I don't have to wait till Sunday morning. Right. When you get up in the morning and say, Lord, I thank you for a safe night. Yes. We think that we just wake up because we set the clock. There was a doctor, I believe that they said from Brazil, visiting here in the city in one apartment. That's somebody right. in another complex starts shooting a gun. And the next thing you know, the bullet struck him in his bedroom and he died. Right. When I wake up, I said, Lord, I thank you. When I drive down the road, I said, Lord, I thank you. When I see a bad wreck and they covering up somebody, I said, Lord, I thank you. But for the grace of God, that could have been me. That everything, anybody in here breathe? If you are not breathing, please let us know. <laughs> because we can just go walk next door and have somebody take care of you. Amen. Let everything that have breath. In other words, he says praise. But I, I'm going to extrapolate it a little bit. If you are breathing, you need to ask yourself, do I love the Lord? Yes. Yes. Is he primary in my life? Is God the king that sits on my heart's throne? Will I obey his word? I'm going to close with the words that was written by Frederick Whitefield. When he wrote the song that says, Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, somebody ought to know these words. There is a name that I love to hear. It sounds like music in my ear. Yes, the yes. sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. And, and the chorus of the refrain says, Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Why? Because yes. he first in this sanctuary. I want you to stand with me if you can. Love lifted me.